I wanted to share some a um, uh, little bit of troubleshooting on the Real Link Audio Mod. I, I shared the uh, original videos on YouTube for the audio mod and information. So I just wanted to share a few uh, tips and tricks for troubleshooting um, when you're out at your trap. Um, let's say you're having an issue, something chewed a wire, uh, you have a short, something not working. Uh, the audio coming from the camera uh, is not, you know, not really designed uh, to trip a relay to shut a hog trap, uh, but it works really well to do that and is dependable. So uh, this camera's already been modified. Uh, the speaker here, uh, I just buy that off Amazon. That's an eight ohm uh, half watt speaker. I've just got a DC jack wired to it. Uh, the little short cable I have here is what you're gonna have, uh, something similar going from your camera uh, to your gate box. Uh, it's just a shortened version. Um, so <clears throat> we can test our cable first. Uh, I've just got a, you know, a digital uh, multimeter here. I've got it set on continuity. So, you know, when you touch the leads together, uh, it beeps. So, you know, we can check our, what we use for ground. Uh, you know, so when our cable's good there, we'll check what we use for positive, which is the center pin. That's good. And to make sure our cable's not shorted, we'll check center pin to the outside pin. And uh, of course we don't have a short there. So when our cable's good, so we're gonna plug into our camera here and uh, I'm gonna get our camera playing. Um, uh, a really important thing for uh, all the audio mods is the custom sound on your camera. Uh, you'll have to turn the siren on uh, and follow the prompts and record a custom sound. You want something loud and long <clears throat> to get that voltage up enough uh, to power your relay. Um, the default sound is kind of an on and off tone. So you'll see the little light flicker here instead of being solid. So get your custom sound done. That's gonna help you out a lot. So we'll get our speaker plugged in here. Uh, we're gonna hit our little alarm button. And you'll hear that loud, constant sound, uh, whatever you wanna record. Uh, so we know we're good from the camera uh, to the end of our cord here. Uh, before we plug our camera in, you, you never want to put any voltage on the control side of your relay um, with your camera connected because you're sending that voltage back to the camera, you'll burn your camera up. So, um, you know, just a 9 volt battery for testing. Uh, as I said, you want nothing connected, your camera uh, not connected to your relay. Um, we've got the latch, the batteries all hooked up. So, uh, we're just testing from here uh, to the latch. Uh, so we're just going to touch our, uh, you know, power up this relay and we'll hear our latch pop. So that's an easy way to test that. Um, so we'll go ahead and plug our um, camera into the relay. Uh, we're going to unplug our latch here. <clears throat> uh, we're going to trigger alarm sound and you'll see your light light up good and solid. Uh, so we know that the uh, relay is receiving uh, enough power from the camera uh, to uh, close the contacts here and power up your latch. Uh, so just to test, uh, test uh, the wiring and your latch, uh, this is just one of those DC jacks. Uh, we're just gonna power the latch, uh, you know, straight from a nine volt battery here. You know, so that lets us know that uh, our cable uh, to the latch is good so we'll go ahead and plug it in here uh, so you can see I've got my camera connected uh, the relays connected the latch is connected so uh, anything that you have that's metal um, pair of needle nose screwdriver a little short piece of wire and pocket knife whatever that you have uh, you know anytime you want to test uh, from the output side to your latch you know you can just short these terminals you're never going to uh, hurt anything on the camera side because using the solid state relay, you're electronically separated. So uh, it's just a really easy way to test uh, from the relay all the way to the latch. Uh, of course, with the digital meter, uh, I just keep one on my uh, whatever vehicle I'm in to go get pigs so that I can, you know, just make sure, um, you know, the batteries are up here. The batteries never have any load on them. So the setups that I built uh, and have been running uh, two and a half years, believe it or not, uh, still have the same uh, nine volt batteries in them. Uh, 
you know they're just they, they use very little power when you're uh, popping that latch so uh, all right still got my camera playing so we're gonna trigger alarm we're gonna see um, the light light up here and uh, there's your latch so that kind of gets gets it tested all the way through all right hope that helps